I am Pilar del Castillo, member of the European Parliament and uh, chair of the European Internet Foundation. Uh, this week we have uh, celebrated in uh, Washington a new edition uh, of the Transatlantic Week, a week in which uh, Congress uh, man in, in uh, Congress men in. in, in Let's go. Uh, I'm Pilar del Castillo, a member of the European Parliament and chair of the European Internet Foundation. We have celebrated in Washington this week the Transatlantic Week, a new edition organized by the Transatlantic Policy Network, which has the aim of putting together members of Congress and uh, European uh, parliamentarians uh, in order to develop uh, an, a strong cooperation, a strong collaboration in so many uh, matters in which a legislator from both sides of the Atlantic uh, can cooperate. Uh, for example, in energy, for example, in uh, the ICT uh, sectors, uh, um, things related uh, to the intellectual property rights, and many more. Uh, I would like to underline some aspects which uh, call uh, our debates and our attention, uh, in my view, being very productive. For example, uh, in terms of uh, energy, uh, we have been debated on uh, things like smart grids, like uh, energy efficiency. In both uh, cases, uh, there are ways, uh, really extremely important, in order to guarantee that we have the energy uh, we need, the amount of energy we need, and that we uh, make a news of this uh, energy in a proper and intelligent uh, manner. On the other hand, for example, we have been debating in something which can be considered kind of trending topic in Twitter language, which is uh, the, the cloud computing. Uh, so cloud computing, there's no doubt that offer a new window of opportunities for jobs, for business, new business model. And uh, this is uh, our uh, responsibility from the side of the legislator uh, to create the proper environment in which uh, companies and uh, consumers, they can really uh, develop this new and promising uh, technology. There are many things to do, many things to do in terms of uh, common standards, in terms of interoperability and so on and so on. So uh, I think uh, just uh, to conclude that uh, this uh, new edition of the Transatlantic Week was a real success. We uh, come back with uh, many new ideas and ways to uh, collaborate. And then uh, during uh, this uh, coming year and until the next edition of the Transatlantic Week, I'm sure uh, new developments in terms of join together in terms of uh, have a common effort, which in time of crisis, as we are now, is of utmost importance. That is the time in which the Europeans and the Americans, in this case, both uh, a group of uh, legislators, we should put all the effort uh, together. We have much to win for all of our people. That is our commitment and that is uh, what uh, was uh, relevant in this uh, new edition of the Transatlantic Week. Thank you very much.